What's up guys, it's Joe Who here. Um, back at it with another video. Today I kind of want to do a video on the car audio install. Um, let's talk about what we're going to do. Fuck it, I'll leave the car off. Alright, so I haven't messed with the car in a while. I mean, I did do some upgrades for my last video. What I basically had done was I had these bad boys in there. I remember showing in my last video that I had one and it was really powerful and all that. So I decided to buy another one. And I remember I had it mounted up to the seat and it just looked like a mess. Like all oh, this was, this was a fucking mess. And what I changed was obviously I bought another one. And what I did was I made these little pods for it. So I'm gonna basically show you, I know it's, it's fucking retarded. Don't, don't even judge, but basically what I did is I took one of these, I mounted it to the box in the back like this and I had another one that I put on the other side over there so they basically had one of these rock Ford tweeters facing out this way and the other one that way now I'm gonna let you know right now these things will fucking damage your ear I promise you that these things are loud but yeah one is bad enough now can you imagine two and these things are I believe they're I don't know 100 and I don't know if it was like 102 or something sensitivity. So these things for only 50 watts still do damage because their sensitivity is really high. So it doesn't even need that much power. I guess I'll talk about a, a little about it, a little bit about it. Um, so yeah, this is the Rockford Punch PP4T. This is the four ohm load. It's only a single voice coil, obviously. It doesn't require that much power. It's just a power tweeter. Thing is pretty heavy. I'd say it's maybe a got a, a, a good five pounds, maybe, maybe less. I don't know. But these things do damage. I was definitely heard by them from. I'd say maybe like a good half a block away. It's here comes the bad part. I blew them out, unfortunately. As you can see in there, it's like cracked right in there. Um. The same thing happened to the other one. This one's actually a little bit worse. I'll show you this one because you can see it better. You see right there. Just like pieces chip. Now, this is my fault. This is completely 100% my fault. And it sucks because these, this is like 130 bucks down to the drain. But, like I said, I had this connected right here. And remember, the top is the only thing that was screwed into the box. This down here could just be wobbling. But... I figured that the tweeter, since it has such a big depth, that by it pressing against the box would give it some support, but this is two kicker L7s. This thing is going to shake the whole fucking car. It shakes the whole car, I should say. So I can imagine how much damage these tweeters have been taking. So I bought a six by nine pod. The reason I bought this was because I got like I got like eight speakers just waiting for me in my house that I had bought a while ago and they're still good. So I'm like, why not just take the cheapest route? Because remember for two of these, it's gonna be 100 and about 130. Plus I gotta like give them a nice proper enclosure and I'm not doing what I did before because I already learned from my mistake. So I bought this. You can see it's nothing too crazy. Um, honestly, I just hope I have proper connections for them. And I can connect the wires here, but I gotta see if I have like a smaller wire that connects there. I don't think it brings, no. So I got two of them. I'm probably just gonna lay them in the back. I'll show you what I mean in a bit. And let's see what I got. Hey, you. I don't remember which one's which. I basically had to choose which one I was going to go with. And I decided to go with the Pioneers for now because they are louder. I got, I got to give it to them. But eventually what I want to do is get two more boxes. This is how I kind of want to set them up. For now. Just leave them facing trunk like that. Maybe make like a little something to mount them. Something to keep it nice and sturdy so it doesn't move too much. So basically like that. And what I want to do as well, I'll show you right now, is I took the 
case of the Rockfords. I know it's gonna look stupid. I put the case of the Rockfords on the Pioneer. I believe the holes align. I gotta double check. But yeah, so when I install it, when I put them in the box, I'll put the casing over it too. So it gives it some nice protection. And it'll look something like that, which isn't bad, you know? It's a quick and easy process. Still have the wires ran. Over here, I got the, the one that went to the power tweeter. I do need to buy more wire for the other side. All right, so one thing I want to mention is always keep the stuff that come with your kits. This is why, because this is all I had. I had bought this from AutoZone way back. And this box has two terminals that are a lot thicker than that. So by me keeping those terminals that came with my kit, check it out. That's one, and that's two. Fits beautifully. Only thing is, I'm gonna need another one for this side, because this one's thicker here, and it looks all dirty. And then, guess what? That one that I bought in AutoZone comes in perfect for this. Always keep your stuff. Damn, I just smacked, like slammed the speaker. But yeah, always keep your whatever equipment you get. You never know when you're gonna need it. All right, so I'm back again. Like I said, I didn't have the wires. They didn't bring wires in here that connects automatically and does it for you. That's like the downside of this box. And if you even want to buy this box, it's actually it's pretty it's pretty sturdy. It's made. It looks like it's made out of MDF. I would believe so. And it's only 20 bucks. 20. I think it's 24 something with tax included. Um, it's prime. It's on Amazon, so it gets here in two days. But yeah, like uh, another reason I was gonna make another video of why you shouldn't throw things out. Check this out: the harness that connects to the factory OEM wire that goes into your radio. This is actually a spare one that I have because I had ordered one online and never came. It was taking forever. It was supposed to be here in two days, never came. So I ordered another one. I believe they refunded my money, and next thing you know, it comes like a week later. So either way, it was late, so I have an extra one. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to plug a couple of these wires out and use them to connect in there because I don't need this. I already have the one in the, in the car. It was only like it was only like 10 bucks. Nothing too crazy. So, yeah, let's do that. All right, guys, so I have some bad news. Like I said, I was pre-drilling them, and that came back to haunt me. Bam. Sucks. But I have good news because when I had bought these, I got four pairs of them, so I got two more downstairs. So let's go get them. All right, guys, so far, so good. This is how it looks. As you can see, it's not bad. So let's just hope everything turns out good and keeps going the way it's going. For this one, just gotta connect this wire over here. Get that out the way. As you can see, I have a tape lets me know what positive is, which was positive, which is negative. Just gotta plug those two right there. Then I got a wire in the back that I gotta run through there. It's not too long, so I'm gonna leave it right there. And this is how I'm gonna leave it for now. So 
As soon as I get everything connected, I'll make a video, make a little test run, and let you know how it sounds. Alright, so I ran into a little problem. Basically, when I had my little tweeter pod connected, I only had a remaining short wire, so I connected it just right there. It just gave. And right here, this is going to be a little tight. As you can see, it barely gives. I'm going to just push this back. Make the best of it for now. And so I go get wire. I could just go to AutoZone, get some cheap wire. It doesn't really matter for now. And that should do. So I'm about to just connect this. Um, Take my voltmeter and make sure that the ohms and everything is correct make sure the resistance it's 4 ohm they're working properly and we'll get back to it as i was able to make the wire fit um just push the subway for a little back uh what i gotta do all right so i gotta take these and i gotta split them up i think i have my wires over here as you can see everything's all ready for me Let's see if i can get this to stand uh, okay i should do for now Alright, so these are just Y splitters. You know, you could get these pretty much anywhere. They have them in Best Buy. It will be more pricey, so you could just get it on Amazon. I don't have a direct link to it because I actually got these from Best Buy. I was able to get a discount. Um, make sure it's together. So there's gonna be one channel. So this is gonna actually be for two channels. This is gonna be for the other two. The thing about this amp that I find funny is that. Your first two channels are over here, on the left, on the right, the left side. Let's say the left side of this. But then you come over here, and you would think that this is for channels one and two. This is actually for channels three and four, as you can see right down there. I find that a little retarded, but it is what it is. I'm gonna leave it about a quarter of the way. I'm gonna put it, switch it to full. I'm gonna have my high pass filter set up in the front. Um, just in case, I'm gonna leave my high pass filter. Filter, you need filter. Filter. I'm gonna leave it right there. Base response is all the way down. And we'll see how that goes. Set the ohm load over here to 200 since that's the least. Since that's the least. And I'm going to take that out. The leads. Positive. To positive, like that. I'm gonna come over here. At 3.5, it's supposed to be a 4 ohm load, 3.4. Let's see. Yeah, and the other one is also a 3.4. So it shows they're working. These are not broken speakers, pop speakers, which is probably something I should have done before I even put them in the box. So if you do something like this, make sure you definitely do that ahead of time. And now just to see how they sound. So I'm in the front of the car. I would plug my phone in to use it to listen to music, but I'm using it at the moment. Bass knob as always. Um, so yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you how I listen to all of the back speakers right now. I had showed you in the other video, which is whatever. But first, I'm gonna turn off the subwoofers. You can just turn that off right. Oh, whoopsie! Right there. See, as you can see, I told you I had the high pass filter over here, so I have it set to 80. Um, and now, since I divided those two leads that I showed you with the Y splitters one of them controls the front and one of them controls the back now remember i told you i had my speakers connected into a two ohm load and then sharing two channels so since they're all four sharing the front channel i could just set it to the rear i believe is the okay so i'm going to try to elaborate on what i was trying to say exactly in this scene so basically i have four speakers in the car connected to the doors and the rear deck those are the factory replacements and that's where i replace the factory speakers of course now those are connected together i have two speed the two front speakers the two front door speakers driver side and the passenger side are connected to a two ohm load they're connected in parallel so those two are connected to channel one and then the rear deck speakers are also connected in parallel and they're connected to a 2 ohm load and they're connected to channel 2. So four speakers are only taking up two channels which leaves the channel 3 and 4 available which is where I'm going to connect these two speakers. And I'm not going to connect these in parallel, I'm just going to let them use each channel separately. So this is where the balance feature comes in really handy because if I switch it to the left side, it's gonna, only going to play channels 1 and 2. 
but if I switch it to the right side, it's going to play channels 3 and 4, which would allow me to be able to test out my two new speakers. All right, so as you can see, they're, they're working. Um, I could actually set the gain a little higher. I was just doing that just to test it, so that's actually what I'm gonna do now. Put the gain slightly higher. Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna get all the way back here. So yeah, let's do that. And I guess I'll test it all out. All the speakers playing at once. You wanted me to do that. I know everybody's gonna wanna do that. Pasito a pasito, suave suavecito, nos vamos pegando poquito a poquito. Cuando tú me besas con esa destreza, tú que eres malicia con delicadeza. Pasito a pasito, suave suavecito, nos vamos pegando poquito a poquito. Y es que esa belleza es un rompecabezas, pero pa' montarlo aquí tengo la pieza, oye. Let me not play it too loud because I am in my driveway. I don't want to bother, bother everyone. I don't want to bother everyone, but yeah. Guys, that's my setup. That's my install. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I do got a lot of cleaning up to do. I got to do zip ties. I do need to get extra wire. But as you can see, these things came out pretty good. It's not bad at all. And for the price, it was only 24 bucks. If you have extra speakers lying around, six by nine, six and a half, they come in all sizes. Make sure you know you, you could do something like this. And I'm pretty sure you guys are more creative than I am. So you could definitely do a lot better. This just added two more speakers. Now I have six speakers in the car. To equal out with my Kicker L7s. Because those things are powerful. And they can overpower my regular speakers. So yeah. Um, I'm definitely going to be bumping today. I want to enjoy them. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, give me suggestions. If you like the way I fucking drilled through one of my speakers. Please let me know what a fucking dumbass I am and how I fucking fucked up my bullet tweeters as well. Excuse my profanity. So, yeah. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the video.